This is High Stakes, the show where you'll need brains, bravery, and just a little luck to win big money. But beware, one wrong step, and you are down and out instantly. On High Stakes, there is only one man who can help you. But will I be of any help? We're about to find out. Big, big welcome to High Stakes. This, of course, is the big money quiz that's just a little bit different. And in a change to usual game show rules, I'm not just hoping our contestants win a load of cash, I'm actually going to try and help them. Try being the key word. Remember, though, I have no idea of the clues that we revealed in the show tonight or where those traps are set. All I do know is if the player can take a short walk from here to there on the High Stakes grid, they could win an incredible £500,000, guys. <laughs> Right, let's get down to our underground bunker and meet tonight's first player. He is a 39-year-old DJ from Lancashire who goes by the name, I can't believe I'm saying this, of DJ Top Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, James is on the show. <laughs> Banana. Banana. How are you? Well, not so bad, thank you. Yourself? High stakes? Yes. Yeah? How are you feeling? Not so bad. Not right, so take bad a look at, at the, the grid. Test. Yes. What would be, for a top banana... <laughs> Very dry. Uh, what would be an ideal amount of money? Well, I mean, 10,000 is nice, but, you know, we're aiming a little bit higher, 25,000. Could we get up to 100,000? I don't know. We're just going to take it. Are you a risk goes. taker, lad? <laughs> Normally, yes, I am, unfortunately. Really? So we'll have to see how it, uh, where it takes me. Come on, DJ Top Banana. Let's do it. Give him a round of applause. of course will need to cross from this end of the high stakes grid right to the other and each row is worth an increasing amount of money from £1,000 here to £500,000 at the end. Now, each row has an additional trap. We start with one, then two, then three and so on. Yep. We'll give you ten clues to help, OK? These are precious. They will show you numbers to avoid if you know the answer and you have to use them wisely. Yeah. They're precious. Or you can ignore the clues and you can choose to take a risk. It's about your strategy right. and your haircut. <laughs> do you want to play high stakes? I do, we do. All right, DJ Top Banana, let's play high stakes. Here we go. <laughs> so this is the £1,000 row, numbers 92 to 98. Okay. £1,000, one trap, I need to tell you. Yep. Good odds if you take a risk now. Yep. Your game, though. Mm -hmm. All right? Do you want to take a risk or use one of those ten clues? Uh, initially, to get me off... And on a bit of a roll, I'm going to take a clue. Let's take first clue for James. Here we go. <laughs> Have a look at this. James, you need to avoid this number. The year Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was first published in the UK. Was that the first book? The first one, yeah, that is the first one, yeah. I think it was 2001 that the first film came out, which was this one. But when was it published? So I don't think it went back as far as 1992. Definitely not. Is that where you want to go? We didn't know about them in 1992, I'm pretty sure. All right, mate, you move. Right. Your choice. I'm going to go for it. Yeah? Happy on 92? Yes. Committed. I'm committed. Right, DJ Top Banana on the £1,000 row. We're looking for just one trap here. You took a clue. We asked you to avoid the year Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was first published in the UK. You very confidently stood on 92. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Let's locate, please, that first trap. Thousand pounds, there it is. So you can take that. Thank you. And cash out. Or you can raise the stakes to two and a half grand if you do. Mm -hmm. We're looking for two traps. You've got nine clues. Yep. Risk taking or leaving with a thousand. Thousand pounds, nice. But it's not quite good enough. If you move on up to two and a half thousand pounds, you'll be looking for two traps. You'll have nine clues. But if you mess up, 
You'll lose the thousand pounds that you've just won. You will leave high stakes with nothing. It's a chance I've got to take, I think. Raise the stakes. Raise the stakes. Let's raise the stakes, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Right, time to concentrate, James. Two and a half thousand pound row. Two traps this time. Nine clues. Numbers six to twelve. Okay. Is it time to take a risk? Good odds. Or are you going to use yet another clue? What are you thinking, my friend? Well, I really don't want to leave with nothing, so at the moment I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a clue. Your choice, your yeah. strategy. Here it is, James. Take a look at this one. James, you need to avoid this number. The number of people that have won Channel 4's Celebrity Big Brother. <sighs> right, now then. It's celebrity it's... Big Brother. Ah, right, yeah, Celebrity Big Brother. Now, I think the f normal celeb the normal uh, Big Brother started in 2000-ish, I think, and then it finished last year, and then the celebrity one came after that. How many have there been? But I don't think... Oh, you just... One, one, one a year, so it definitely wouldn't be, I don't think, 12, because that would take us up to this year. Do you think, you think, cele you think the normal Big Brother started in 2000? 2000, and the celebrity Big Brother started after that, so I don't think there's 12. You make your move, my friend. It's your game. Two and a half thousand pound row. We're looking for that first track. I'm going to go for it. I've got that. You sure? Yeah. All right, make your move. Doing well. Happy on 12? I'm happy with 12. Committed. Committed. Right, James, the two and a half thousand pound row. You took a clue we asked you to avoid. The number of people that have won Channel 4's Celebrity Big Brother. You said you believed that Big Brother started in 2000. There couldn't have been 12 Celebrity Big Brothers. Let's find out, fingers crossed, the location of that first trap, please. Well done, seven. Well thought out. So that's what it's about. Well, use this, right? And the thing about high stakes is, with the clues, even if you don't know the answers, you can use a bit of logic and yeah. think, well, was it that many? And that's yeah. the point, right? Yeah. Halfway to two and a half grand. It's really good, yeah. Risk time or clue time? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the clues at the moment. James wants a clue. Let's take a look, please. James, you need to avoid this number. The number of days a week the Beatles sing about. Now, you are a DJ, right? And I am absolutely <laughs> convinced if you get this wrong, you will never, ever work again. Eight <laughs> <laughs> days a week. Come on. Eight days a week. Eight days a week. Could be. But it's certainly not 11 days a week. Eight days a week. No. Eleven days a week. No. Ten days a week. I'm got, it's, it's not eleven. Get over here, then. It's not eleven. You making a move? Yeah, I am. You sure? I'm committed. Commi and you need to be committed. <laughs> <laughs> right, DJ Top Banana. If I... <laughs> Brilliant. Two and a half thousand pounds. We're looking for the second trap. We asked you to avoid the number of days a week the Beatles sing about. You reckoned it was eight. You stood an eleven. Let's locate that second trap, please. Feeling all right? Ready to go on. Right, let's head to the bunker and right. see what reprobates you bought with you. <laughs> Who have we got? <laughs> well, over on the left-hand side there, we've got my wife, Leanne. There she is. Hi, Hello. Leanne, how are you? All right, my dear. I'm fine, thank you. He's barking mad, isn't he? Absolutely. Do you think he should cash out at two and a half grand no. or raise oh, no, the stakes? No, no. Carry on, yeah. carry yeah? on. Crack on. Yeah, yeah. Crack on, then, oh, lovely. Right. right, so DJ yeah. Top Banana. Yes. You can cash out with two and a half grand or you can raise the stakes. Yeah. I have to warn you, if we play for ten and mess up, you lose the two and a half, you just won, you go home with one thousand. Pounds. Yeah. Are you cashing out or raising the stakes? I'm raising the stakes. Let's raise the stakes, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. <laughs> oh, the 20s. 22 to 28. Always take that good in. Yeah. This time for £10,000, three traps, seven clues. Is it risk time? <sighs> £10,000, aiming for that. £10,000 a lot of money. Clue or risk? I'm going to take a clue. The next clue for James, please, on the grid. Take a look at this, my friend. James, you need to avoid this number. The number of ribs in a human body. Right, just stay still. Let me count this. <laughs> sure, no, I don't know why I am doing this no. on national... I'm Thank feeling... you very much. <laughs> oh, ticklish there. Is it... <laughs> yeah, right, it's just not right. Would it be... A... Right, just hold on a minute. Use yes, your brain. I am. Right. right. Think radio. Now then. Would it be an even number? It's going to be an even number. Because you wouldn't so... have like 11 no, there. No, you'd be a bit more like this one here. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd have to have yeah. a uniform set of ribs. Uh, yes. I would say we're going to discount even numbers straight away. Because Does that sound be... good, theory? Yeah, I would say so. I would say it's odd and. You'd say you're what? 
<laughs> what are you doing? 27. Make your move. Committed to 27. I'm committed, Jeremy. Yeah. This is the £10,000 row. We're looking for that first trap. You took a clue. You were asked to avoid the number of ribs in a human's body. We sort of thought, but I'm putting this on you, you decided it would be an even number of ribs. You stood on 27. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The first trap is where, please? 24. Right, though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And this, uh, why wouldn't we know? OK. Doing well, a third of the way to ten grand. Six clues. Is it risk time or is it time for another clue? You don't always have to know the answers. It's just no. working out that logic, Trick, right? Yeah. yeah. What are we do? Well, we seem to be doing OK so far. I mean, it could all go horribly wrong, but uh, we'll, we'll, we've got six clues left. We'll have another clue. Let's get James's next clue up, please. James, you need to avoid this number. The date in January that Robert Burns was born, celebrated in Scotland as Burns Night. My first thing was, which was just ridiculous, I was thinking, is it a month after Christmas? But then... What? 22nd of January, does The date in January that Robert January. Burns was born, celebrated in Scotland as Burns Night, January the 22nd. 22nd <laughs> Why did I put a Scottish about... accent on? That was rubbish. <laughs> 25th. 25th of January. Just don't ring any bells at all. 25th. You go with your gut instinct. I'm going to have to take a guess here. Right. We're going to go... Oh, God. Which way to go? Which way to go? 20... It's a lot of money. It's easy for everybody to say, of come on. 25th of December. Not like Christmas Day. Just 25th of January ring any bells at all. You said that no. the 28th, 28th in seems your to head us, yeah. was something. Take a leap of faith. Just remember about this game. You don't have to be right, you just can't be wrong. Right. Yeah. Are you standing on the 25th? 25th of January. Are you committed to 25? I am committed. So, James, the £10,000 row, we're looking for the second trap. You took a clue. We asked you to avoid the date in January that Robert Burns was born, celebrated in Scotland as Burns Night. You decided that 25 was safe. Let's find out the location of that second trap, please. No! It's a month after Christmas. I am so sorry. James leaves with a thousand pounds, ladies and gentlemen. So sorry, mate. Give a round of applause. He wins the grand. Come on, give him a round of applause. Good guy. Happy 40th one day soon. So time for a break on high stakes, but don't go anywhere, because we're right back. So welcome back to High Stakes, the show where £500,000 is literally a few steps away. So back down to our underground bunker to see who's next to play on High Stakes. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jane on the show. She's here with daughters Hayley, Abby, Natalie and friend Louise. Now, she's a 49-year-old customer service advisor for the Royal Mail. She's from Wolverhampton and apparently the best thing in her life is to meet me. I wanted to win some money. I like her a lot already. Jane is on the show, my friends. <laughs> Stakes. How are you feeling? A little bit nervous, but I'm sure with you by my side, I'll be fine. We'll do it together. Yeah. <laughs> right, look at the grid. From £1,000 to £500,000, this is high stakes. What would be the dream amount of money to win tonight? Hundred grand. Hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. You're gonna have to take some risks to get there. Yeah. Are you a risk taker? My friends would all say I am. Really? Yeah. All right, listen, you want to win this money, you want to play high stakes? I do. Come on, Janie, we're going this way. Give a round of applause. <laughs> so, 
Jane, of course, must cross the high stakes good row by row. Each row has ever an increasing cash value from a grand all the way up to that top prize of £500,000. And all she has to do is avoid the traps that are hidden along the way. She has clues to help her. They'll point to numbers to avoid, but she's only got ten of them, so as ever, she must use them wisely. Alternatively, she can pick her path by taking risks. So risks or clues... You want to play for £500,000? Yes, please. Don't look so nervous. You want to play high stakes? Yes, please. All right, let's play high stakes. Here we go. Right. Here we go, Here we go. Right. This, Jane, is the £1,000 row. You have ten clues. We are only looking for one trap out of seven numbers. Good odds. Six out of seven times yeah. you'd be right if you took a risk, but you might choose the clues. We're playing for a 1000 what do you want to do, a risk or a clue, Jane? I'm going to take a risk. Oh, yeah. Is there a number on this board that appeals, that jumps out? 57. Why? Heinz 57. Brilliant. <laughs> Heinz 57. Make your move. Committed to 57. Committed to 57. Not sure about the logic, but this is the £1,000 row. We are simply looking for one trap. Jane decided to take a risk. Please reveal the location of that first trap. Yeah! £1,000. Right? Take a breath, There it is. £1,000. You can cash out right now. We'll give you that £1,000. You can leave. But alternatively, you can look at the next row. Two and a half thousand pounds, OK? This time, we'll be looking for two traps. But before you make a decision, bear in mind, if you go for the two and a half thousand and mess up, you will actually leave this competition with nothing. Yeah. Would you like to cash out, Jane, or raise the stakes? Definitely raise the stakes. Let's raise the stakes, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, please. <laughs> Right. Look at the board. The grid says 12 to 18. We are looking for two traps. You took a risk the first time. Is it risk time again, or is it the moment to take one of those ten clues, sweetheart? What are you thinking? I'm taking a risk. Again? Because my birthday is there. Where? Which one? Number 18. Sure? Yeah. You go. Make your move. <laughs> You've got it all sorted, haven't you? Committed to 18. Committed to 18. So this is the two and a half thousand pound row. Again, Jane decides to take a risk. She picks 18 because she says that's her birthday. My fingers are crossed. Everybody's wishing you luck. Let's find out the location of that first trap on the two and a half thousand pound row. So you're playing smart. What you've done is you've taken a couple of risks, early doors, good odds, and you've kept those clues back. You're now just one trap away from two and a half thousand pounds. What's the strategy now? I'm taking a clue. Here's your first clue. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The number of pennies in a British shilling prior to decimalisation. How old are you? 21. <laughs> Right. So I think I know the answer to this. You do? I think so. What do you think? I think it's 12 pennies in a British the shilling. The number of pennies in a British shilling prior to decimalisation, you think it's 12? I've absolutely no idea. So I'm going to go for 18 again oh, to stay far then. away. You know what you're doing, don't you, love? Happy? Sounds good to me. Committed? Yeah, I'm committed. So this is the £2,500 row, Jane. You took a clue. We asked you to avoid the number of pennies in a British shilling prior to decimalisation. You said you think it's 12. You've stood on 18. If you're right, you win two and a half thousand pounds. Let's find out the location of that second trap. £2,500, nine clues in the bank. 
Let's just, let's just go to the underground bunker. Who have you got with you today? Let's have a look at them. I, I love doing this. Who have we got on the left at the front? Um, my daughter, Hayley. Oh, you don't even know the name of your own daughter. <laughs> How do you think your mum's doing? Very well. Mum, start using the clues. You are <laughs> abusing the clues. <laughs> oh, she's telling her. Who else have we got there? Who's in the blue? Abby. Oh, All right, Abby. Do, do you think she's playing well? I think she is, but she needs to play safe. <laughs> oh, that's only because you lot are counting the money. I've got you sorted. Right. So here is the moment, right? Two and a half thousand pounds is yours. As I said, you can cash out right here and now and take that money, or you can make that next step to the ten thousand pound row next time. Jenny, we're looking for three traps out of seven numbers, but you've got, importantly, nine clues left. So the big question, sweetheart, do you want to cash out right now or do you want to raise the stakes? Definitely raise the stakes. Well, raise the stakes, then, Jenny. Here we go. No numbers on this one. Two. Two to eight. Might help, might not. Nine clues in the bank. Three traps to find for £10,000 tax-free. Jane, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I want a clue. Really? Yeah. Right, let's get Jane's second clue. Take a look at this, sweetheart. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The name of the album Beyonce released in June 2011. Come on, you must be a Beyonce fan. What? You must be a Beyonce 46, fan. 46, I like Abba. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm 49. You must know more than me. Come on, Jesus. Uh, the name of the album Beyonce released in June. I have apps. Oh, Nothing has got to ring a bell to it, has it? No. Beyonce 3. What Beyonce are we going to do? Two. What are you thinking we should do, sweet? Because I. I'm thinking. It has to be your decision. I've always said I can help. I don't know the answers. I've got no idea, but I'm. G I'm just thinking logically, and I'm going to go for two. Really? Yeah. Are you happy with two? Um, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to just go for six. Really? Yeah. It's your decision. Two. You've got no idea where to oh, go, have you? No. no. The name of the album, Beyonce. The name of the album, Beyonce, released in Beyonce. June 2011. Beyonce. No, I think I should go with my gut instinct from the start and go for t two. You're going to be here all night, else. Are you happy on two? I'm happy on two. Committed. Committed. So this is the £10,000 row. We're looking for that first trap. Jane, you decided to take a clue. You were asked to avoid the name of the album Beyonce released in June 2011. We talked about it. You didn't really have any idea. Your gut instinct said two. I really, really hope you're right. Let's find out the location of that first trap. Have to repeat about the clues, don't have to know the answers. Hopefully we can be logical, but that was a guess. Ten thousand yeah. pounds, two traps to find, eight clues in the bank. Jane from Wolverhampton, what is your strategy now? I know you're not gonna believe I'm saying this, but I'm gonna have another clue. I don't blame you. Next clue, please. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The total number of Christopher Robin's friends in A.A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh stories. Right, do, do, do. It's been a few years since I've read that. Right, come here. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Do we know any of the friends? Um, Eeyore. What? You say Eeyore. Eeyore. Um, Piglet. Piglet? It's, yeah. Piglet? Yeah. Eeyore Piglet. and Piglet. Um, Are there any more than two? I'm, I'm not sure how many, but I don't think there's as many as eight, so I'm going to go for that reason. I'm going for eight. I think there might be about three or five. Three or five? Yeah. But well, I don't think he's got as many as eight. Would he have more than two? Um, That's the only yeah. thing I'm thinking. If you yeah. think about it logically, the yeah. total number of... Oh, I'm with you, yeah. I'm total so glad you are. <laughs> I haven't got a clue where yeah. you're coming from, but what I'm, what I'm saying is I'm just... I'm just I, yeah. don't, I don't know. I'm just... I'm but trying he's to... got more than two, so... If he's got more than two... So I'd better go on two, hadn't I? And then... <laughs> Is that what you're aiming at? No, no, I don't... <laughs> I don't know how many there are, but right. I'm just thinking... But that's the one I've got to avoid, isn't it? The total number of friends he's got. So he's got more than two. We need the two. 
can't believe I'm standing on national television trying to say Eeyore and Piglet. You've got the younger children, you should know. Oh, it's You've my got, fault yeah. now, is it? My children are 28 and 29. They don't even I am remember. trying to help, woman. <laughs> Do you think it's more than two? Yeah. But your initial feeling was eight. The decision has to be yours. Right. What do you want to do, Jane? I'm definitely going to avoid five and three. <laughs> so I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for two. Come on, then. Are you committed to two? <laughs> I will be committed, I think. <laughs> yes, I'm totally committed. This is the 10th Aston Bound Row. Eventually, we're looking for that second trap. We asked you, Jane, to avoid the total number of Christopher Robin's friends in A.A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh store. As you said, it's... you don't got a clue, to be honest, but you think it's more than two. <laughs> you chose to. Please, please, find the location of that second trap. £10,000, and of course, if Jane wants to walk out of here, £500,000 richer. She's got some massive decisions to make. Find out what those are in just a minute. We're right back on High Stakes. <laughs> so, welcome back to High Stakes. This is the only game show where me, the host, is actually helping the players on their path to hopefully a whopping £500,000. And before the break, Jane... How are you feeling from Wolverhampton? I'm fine, thank you. We found two traps on the £10,000 row. You've got one trap to go and ten grand is yours. Still got seven clues in the bank. Is it risk time? Is it clue time? I can't bear the tension. What are we doing? I'm really sorry, but it's got to be a clue. Listen, that's what they're there for. Yeah. It's your choice. Let's give you, Jane, your next clue. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The number of major pyramids at Giza in Egypt. Have you been to Egypt? I've never been to Egypt, no. Are you, are you swaying either way? Sorry? Are you swaying <laughs> with any particular... Oh, swaying. Um, did you do geography at school? Why are you putting this on me? Did I do geography? <laughs> I'm really sad. All I would say is pyramids, I wonder if there's more... I just thought, I have this great, horrible feeling that whatever I say will be wrong. I, I would think, if, if I was there, I would think there would be more than two, but I... I don't know. I think two would look a bit odd, do you? Just two. <laughs> yeah. Out the water a bit, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, two would look odd, three would look great. Um... <laughs> um... I mean, it depends what they are. If they were in the middle of London, one would look ridiculous, wouldn't it, to be honest? But... And you're right in Wolverhampton. Yeah, great. They? <laughs> Pyramid in Wolverhampton, right. The number of major pyramids at Giza in Egypt, two, three, five, six, seven, for £10,000. It has to be your decision, okay. sweetheart. I'm going to go with two and just pray for God. Make your move to two. <laughs> Are you committed to two? I'm committed to two. You were asked, Jane, to avoid the number of major pyramids at Giza in Egypt. You eventually decided to go on two. We are looking for that third and final trap. If you're right, you've won £10,000 on high stakes. Please, please reveal the location of that third trap. Thank you for your help. Doing my best. Back to the underground bunker. Let's have a look at family and friends. £10,000. Oh, yes. Your mum's doing great, girls. Hands up who thinks she should cash out with ten grand and leave. No. Me. Believe yeah. Mom, no. How much have you been promised, love? That's what I want to know. <laughs> who thinks she should go on? She's got on, clues no, in the... We're holding it home. Yeah, you're doing really well. Just take the clues and go. This is a crucial moment in the game. You've won £10,000. If you choose to cash out, we are delighted for you. If you choose to move on for 25,000, next time it's four traps. You have, importantly, in the bank six clues. And you know from the, the logical way that your mind works ish um, that you could actually get there. Yeah. But it has to be your decision. Can I tell you that if you went for the 25, 
and failed, you would lose the ten you've just won. You'd leave with two and a half thousand pounds. Still a lot of money. It is. And you've had a nice day, haven't you? I've had a lovely day. Brilliant. I only wanted to come to meet you. You I need to aim freeze. higher than just meeting me. <laughs> um, so, sweet. Um, are you going to cash out at ten grand, or are you going to raise the stakes to 25? They'll kill me if I don't. I'm going to have to raise the stakes. Yes! Here we go. Here we go. Right, we're going to concentrate. We're going to do as best as we can. This is the £25,000 grid, 59 to 65, six clues. What, Jane from Wolverhampton, is your strategy now? A clue, please. Let's look at your first clue on the £25,000 row. Here we go. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The year of the great train robbery. I'm sure it was going to be roughly something about the year I was born, about 62, I'm guessing. We was just thinking like about Ronnie that. Biggs. You know he got really ill and then he came back to Britain? Yeah. And he came back, let's say, three or four years ago. Yeah. And I believe that he'd been away for 32, 31, 32 years. Right. I was born in 65. Year, 7th of July. You're scaring me now. <laughs> Past four in the morning. <laughs> Twenty past four in the morning. How do you know that? <laughs> Got my own stalker live on telly. Do you think? It, do you think it was sixty-five the year you were born? Has ever anyone said anything? You think? Oh God, I was. Born no, they the told me that the, the day I was born, the number one hit single was the Beatles and Help. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was just trying. My logic was was trying to say to you, would it? Was it definitely in the sixties and not in fifty-nine? That, that's all I... That's the thing about the clues. We don't, have yeah. to, we don't have to know specifically the answer. We're just trying to use logic here. It's the £25,000. I'm thinking it's something like 61, 62. So make your move to a number that you think is safe, sweetheart. Um... It's easy in the audience or it down is, in the bunker. It's yeah. hard up here on the grid, isn't it? Yeah, especially when you're not that old. <laughs> I mean, I'd have only been, even if it was 65, I'd have only been three, so I'm not going to have known which am I? No. I'm going to go for the year you were born and I pray that you bring me good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? I think you would have known if it was the year you were born and you would have helped me with this one. <laughs> I'm going to go for 65, because that was my first... Is that your gut instinct? gut instinct. Make your move. <laughs> Happy on 65. Happy on 65. Committed. Committed. So, Jane, it's serious now. This is £25,000. You took a clue. We're looking for that first trap. You were asked to avoid the year of the great train robbery. You went for 65, because apparently that was the year I was born, and I would have known it. <laughs> Fingers crossed for you, sweetheart. Let's find out the location of that first trap. <laughs> oh. You are a quarter of a way to £25,000. Five clues in the bank, Jane. Your next move is what, sweet? Um, a clue or yeah, a risk? I'm going to have to do a clue. All right, let's look at Jane's next clue, please. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The combined age of Russell Brand and Katy Perry on Brand's birthday in June 2011. I know Russell Brand's quite a bit older than her. He's probably in his 30s. And Katy Perry's only... I'm sure she's only something like 23. Do you know? Her ages at all. Well, I thought she was 26 to 28. Right. And, and I'm I sure thought he was 30, 31, 32. 31. Which would make 60. 60. So if you're going the right way, we could perhaps head up 64, 65, couldn't we? Yeah, you know, if she's if 28 and he's 37. You've just lost £25,000. Mm. Would he be 35? Would he be 34? 
forty, so yeah, now we I don't think she. I, th I think she'd be twenty six, wouldn't she? Something. I don't think she'd be more than twenty six. So even if he was thirty four. Yeah. Fifty four. I still on even. You're thinking it's it's on the lower side, right? Yeah. Just suppose he's thirty three, and she's twenty five. That'd be 58, so 58. it's not that. I'm going for 65 again. All right, make your move. <laughs> Happy on 65? Happy on 65. Committed to 65? Committed. I can't bear the nerves, Jane. Oh, no, mate. I'm shaking. This is the £25,000 oh. row. We are looking for our second trap. We asked you to avoid the combined ages of Russell Brand and Katy Perry on Brand's birthday in June 2011. You went to the top of the grid at 65. You think it's less than that. Everybody wishes you luck. Let's find out the location of that second trap, please. She was 26, he was 36. The correct answer was 62. You are halfway to £25,000. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm just praying. You're Please shaking God. yet? Yeah. Right. Oh, God. Four clues left. Two traps to find for £25,000. 59, 60, 61, 64 and 65. Jane from Wolverhampton, is it risk time or is it clue time? What do you think? It's a clue time. All right, the next clue, please. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The year the film Mary Poppins had its world premiere. Oh, God. I've <laughs> seen Mary Poppins about 10 million times. You've seen it 10 million times? Yeah. I don't think it's going to be 59. Do you? It's world premiere. 59. I mean, if it had been the year I was born, I'd have known about it, wouldn't I, to be honest? <laughs> You bought, yeah. The year the film Mary Poppins had its world premiere. I can't handle this. Um, Are you swaying to either way, though? You know, if you were saying what, what, what stop sort saying of thing would you do? <laughs> um, I, uh, I would have thought it was made in the 60s. In the 60s. Yeah, the film. See, my but it could have been the 50s, it could. couldn't it? Yeah. 50 years. Yeah, 52 years. Oh, yeah. Mary Poppins, 50. Was it, was it before 65? Is it that much of a classic? Yeah, I think it is, probably. I'm thinking, for some reason, I don't know why, I'm thinking 59 to go for that number. You have to go with what you yeah. feel comfortable with. It is your game. I'm here yeah. to help, but yeah. I don't know I'm the gonna answer. I'm going to go I've for 59, to be but really? I really don't know. Make your move, sweetheart. I'm praying to God. Yeah, happy on 59. Happy on 59. Committed. Committed, Jeremy. So, Jane, this is the £25,000 row. You are halfway to that magical figure. You took a clue. We're looking for the third trap. You were asked to avoid the year the film Mary Poppins had its world premiere. You stood on 59. We're looking for that third trap. How are you feeling? Really scared. Well, oh, hold that I'm thought. So we'll scared. find out after this break. We're right back on High Stakes. Now it's your turn to play High Stakes. For your chance to win £4,560, you need to avoid this number. The number of musicians in a quartet. A, 4, B, 5, or C, six. Remember, you need to avoid the correct answer. Choose either one of the two incorrect options to be in with a chance to win. Call 0901 293 0909. Calls cost no more than one pound and three pence from BT landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Text A, B or C to double eight triple four. Text costs one pound plus one standard network rate message. Red button viewers can press to enter now. You can also enter for free at itv.com. Entrants must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at 10 a.m. Monday will not be counted but may still be charged. So welcome back to High Stakes. This 
is the game show where the players need nerves of steel and a dash of good luck. And Jane from Wolverhampton, you've played so well. You're on the £25,000 row. You'd found two traps. We're looking for the third. You took a clue. You were asked to avoid the year the film Mary Poppins had its world premiere. After much dallying around, you decided 59 would be safe. My fingers are so crossed for you. Let's look for the location of the third trap. Please, please be good news. Where's that trap? You are one trap away from £25,000 on high stakes. Jane, how are you feeling? Oh, oh please help me on this one. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A bundle of nerves. Oh. All right. Let's go for it. Clue or risk? I can't not take a clue. We three sit in there. I've got to take a clue. Right, this is a clue for Jane. Jane, you need to avoid this number. The maximum number of points scored from a single throw in World Championship darts. Maximum number. Maximum number. The maximum number of points scored in a single throw. Mm -hmm. Do you play darts at all? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Please tell me you do. You got the bull at 50. Yeah. You got half a bull at 25. Oh, yeah. And you've got top. doubles and you've got trebles. trebles. And 20 is the highest number. And treble 20 is 60. Yeah. And 19 would be 57. And then is there anything else? Is there a double or is there a. It's got to be a treble 20, hasn't it? Yeah. Tell me, please. That I, I, the maximum number of points. The maximum number of points. From a single throw. So it's got to be um, 60. 60, hasn't it? Because a nine dart finish would be 60, 60, 60. That's 180. Yeah. You do the maths. Three more treble 20s, that beat 180, that's 360. Yeah. You've got 141 to get, so you'd go for another one, that'd be seven, that'd be 420, you'd have 81, you go for treble 19, which would be 57, and double 17 would be 501, and that would be a nine dart checkout. Oh my God! I think. So what are we going for a 60? What did you just say? We're going for 60. Are then. we going for 60? Are we avoiding 60? <laughs> We're avoiding 60. If, if, if this 65. is wrong, you've lost 10,000, you go back to two and a half and you're going to hate me forever. No. <laughs> There's a part of me that wants this to be wrong so that you do it. <laughs> no, right. The maximum number yeah. of points scored from a single throw in World Championship darts. He's 60, so I'm avoiding that. And right. I'm going to go for 65 seconds sure? for me. Right? Yeah, I'm okay. going for it. Make your move. <laughs> Happy on 65. Happy on 65. Committed. Committed on 65. Right, Jane from Wolverhampton. This is the £25,000 row. You took a clue. We asked you to avoid the maximum number of points scored from a single throw in World Championship darts. Never in my life have I felt worse than this moment. <laughs> you stood on 65. Oh, Let's find out the location of that fourth and final trap. Never ever gonna leave me alone now, are you? <laughs> Let's just go to the underground bunker. That's amazing. Oh my god. 25 grand, mummies. What? Hello. How do we do yeah. yeah. Hi, 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 the ones at the back don't care at all. Look at her on the back. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, Jane, you have been amazing, OK? Here's the deal. £25,000. You can cash out now, you can take that money and you can leave as a 25 grand winner with our best, best wishes or, take a breather, you can raise the stakes to £100,000. You've got two clues, but I have to tell you, next time you'll be looking 
for five traps. So, you'd have to take some risks. If you go for a hundred and you mess up, you lose the 25,000, you go back to 10,000 pounds. It's big money. Jane from Wolverhampton, do you want to cash out or do you want to raise the stakes? Cash it out. Sure. <laughs> So there she is, Jamie, back in the bunker with Hayley, Abby, Natalie and Glenn Marie. £25,000 winner on high stakes. Well done, sweetheart. Brilliant. Crying their eyes out there. Well done, sweetheart. £25,000. Brilliant. <laughs> So that's it from me tonight. Join us again next week where I'll be helping more players try and win some really big money here on High Stakes. I've been Jeremy Carr. Good night. We'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. We're opening up the Vampire Diaries next on ITV2. The Specsavers Crime Thriller Awards 2011 are next on ITV3. And the matches that got the world talking bring 20 football games that shook the world on ITV4. Here and our celebrities are deep inside the Arctic Circle and 71 degrees north next tonight.